here we are from all over the world, and we all have this passion for this unique form of journalism. And what we're going to do over the next two days is uh, try to tap into that passion and help you do your journalism better, to share your best practices with each other, to learn from each other, and, and I hope that we're all going to leave here uh, as better fact checkers and having built a community of fact checkers around the world. You are part of, a, of an extraordinary gathering uh, here over these next couple of days. First, it's extraordinary in terms of who's here. Uh, there are about 55 of you. Uh, you came from six continents. Uh, there are 33 of you from Europe, 13 from North America, uh, four from Africa, two from South America, two from Asia, uh, and as we know, uh, uh, we also have a participant from Australia. Um, but even more important than where you came from is what you represent. You're on the leading edge of a burgeoning international movement of fact checkers. According to a Duke study, uh, sites have been started recently in Italy, Germany, France, the UK, Australia, Egypt, and South Africa, just to name a few. Why is this trend important? Uh, it's important because the world needs more clarions of fact-based truth. You can be the pillars of a democratic society. You can cut through the alternate realities created by propaganda, spin, and outright lies. Already, many of you are doing this journalism with digging, persistence, passion, and yes, courage. You're an inspiration to all of us. The world needs you. The internet has provided you with a platform for your work that is more powerful than any politician's microphone or any military leader's weapon. It is changing society right before our eyes. As transformative as it is, though, uh, it is the fact checkers like you that provide a clear, high fidelity voice for any democratic society. You give citizens the fact-based information they need to make informed decisions about their societies and about their leaders. Let me start with my number one essential understanding about, um, about fact checking. I suppose these are numbers in order. In fact, this is one that you might argue should have been the conclusion, but this is how I feel about it today. We hereby serve notice that fact checking is here to stay. It is not a fad, it is not a novelty. Through the courageous, creative, and high craftsmanship that you all bring to this work, we have established brands and a presence in the political conversation that is absolutely here to stay. But obviously, to me, the number one example of that is this gathering of what I would call true believers, whatever form we want to take this work, who are here to figure out how to do it more, how to do it better, how to reach more people. And so, you know, a lot of little pep rally here. How about a round of applause for you all for being here?